Hey everyone, I just installed Cypress version 10 that has component testing. Now, if I click on end-to-end -end testing and I start end-to-end -end test, I could have started components as well. I can see the changes in Cypress GUI. One of the biggest changes that you will see or don't see is that you don't see run all specs button that used to be right here. Now I see individual specs and I can run them one by one by clicking on them. I can click on a play, click on the spec. Now it's all nice, I can run the test very quickly by just clicking at the spec. But how do I run all of them to verify that the application is working? A lot of people, you know, raise their concern about this. There is an open Cypress issue where you can leave your comment. But here's my walk around to allow you to run all specs just like you could in the old Cypress versions. I go to the code editor and I create an all spec file. And all I do here, I import all other files like clock, play, and spec. I can see this all spec file going in the Cypress GUI. And now if I click on that file, it actually imports and runs all other tests. So that's pretty nice. If I don't want to run, for example, clock, I can uh, comment it out and it runs just the tests from play spec and spec side. So this is my workaround. I think it works and Cypress team will probably think about how to implement run all specs button, but implement it correctly. That button in previous Cypress version has a lot of you know edge cases that don't make it a very good solution. Okay, so we got this working. Let's see how we can run this on CI because if we just leave it as is, guess what? On CI it will run all size spec and then clock and play duplicating all the tests. Luckily, there is a solution. Here's what we will do. I'm going to go to Cypress config file and now it's all JavaScript. And right here under settings for end-to-end -end test, I can do the following. Exclude spec pattern. I can exclude certain files from consideration from Cypress when finding them and showing in the list of specs. And this config file runs the first thing when Cypress starts. So it runs in node, so I can look at process env. And pretty much every CI sets a variable Cy. So if that variable is defined, well, then we want to ignore the all spec. Otherwise, it could be an empty list. All right. So let's see if this works. I'm going to go to my terminal and I'm going to Cypress run end to end test. And let's see how many specs it finds. So right now, we're not running as if we're doing on CI. And notice it's running for specs. Right? What happens on CI? If we define CI variable, you know, give it some value like one, then it only finds three specs. So it skips all spec that's artificial. So this is my workaround. If you want to read more about it, you can check out my blog post about running all specs in Cypress version 10. And as always, watch more videos on my YouTube channel.